Hello you YouTubers. Um, before I begin, I can't say it enough. Um, Kulu Shop, which is Q-L-U-O-S-H-O-P, and Diamond Painting Factory. Um, I believe Diamond Painting Factory has a program for the 20% discount underneath my name. Um, and I'm able to give everybody a 20% discount. Um, for sure on Kulu Shop because I just talked with um, Diamond Painting Factory and I didn't verify with him if they had um, put the discount code in my name yet but I believe he has um, and both of them would be named Chrissy C-H-R-I-S-S-I-E-Y <coughs> And that is after you go to cart and you go to checkout and your discount code will show you first the discount code and then after that then it will take you to shipping I believe anyway um, I believe I'm going to say that every time I do a video because if anybody goes to miss any of my videos and where to find them you can find them on Facebook and you can google it so, um, those are the two places that I have so far. So, I am going to find me some more factories and to find them discounts for us. And they're the cheapest diamond, diamond paintings I have researched and I've studied. And I... I tried to learn as much as I can about it which they have different gems they have round square crystal crystal rhinestones um, sparklers which do not come with your kit that is totally different you have to buy it from a lady which I believe she sells it off of YouTube um, but I will get into that another time. Right now I am going to try to see for beginners um, when you first get your diamond painting where do you start? Well I start with of course my beads and I figure out what I want to put them in and you can put them in Ziploc baggies you can put them in medicine containers which is a good cheapo. Um, these, um, there's many things on um, Amazon and eBay, which I'm totally eBay, but I've been buying off of Amazon because eBay doesn't have some of the things that Amazon has, and eBay has some of the things that they don't have. So, where I'm going to start out, um, I was going to start out on my favorite one, but this already has its in zip lock baggies, which make it nice, and then you really don't need to mess with your beads. They're already separated in these zip lock baggies. So I decided that to find another, another diamond painting that has the ones that you have to... Um, separate so you don't get them confused on what is what. I'm sorry if I'm going to be noisy opening these things. So I first. This one is the crystal rhinestone. The crystal rhinestone. And they mostly come in like this. Sometimes they come in the black baggies. And the rhinestones are the sparkly ones. So they're nice and sparkly. Those are crystal rhinestones. And then they have A, B. Um, 
A, B, um, A, B, rhinestones, which are acrylic, and then they have sparklers, which, like I said, they don't have in their, they don't have them in the, um, your kits. You have to get this from a lady that sells them online. So, another time I will talk about sparklers and all the different ones and what they look like and all that good stuff. So, in the meantime right now, you need to separate them. Some of them already are dotted and you can separate them and these ones ain't. So, I have to cut them and they have your number and it's going to be backwards on my phone. That's number 20 and this goes... Uh, 115 Y115 is to my diamond painting that I'm going to be working on. Let's get out my handy dandy book. I was going to do this one, but that's the one that's in Ziploc baggies. So I'm going to do my wolf. Get that one out. So the number is Y115, 30 by 40. So right here is telling you the, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of this word. Um, anywho, this so it shows you your numbers that goes to your, to let you know that this belongs with this. And the crystal rhinestones, these don't have the numbers on them. Usually these are the same colors as the circles and the squares. This one isn't having their color numbers on the package, which kind of disgusts me a little bit, because what am I going to put them under? Anywho, let's get started. And I use these. They're called shrimp bowls, and I pour them into that first, and then I pour them into my containers that I'm going to use. And also, if you do not have containers for these things, in the beginning, what I used, what I used to do is I still kept them in the package, and I had the a slit cut um, and then I would use whatever I needed and then when I was done for whenever I wanted to come back to it I would actually take a lighter and I would um, melt it back shut so that's how I did it when I first started so I could keep track of what Diamonds go with what, and I'm going to be calling the company and telling them I want to know the number, the numbers to these crystals. Because then I'm not going to have them in the right places in my containers that I have put them in when I'm done because so these always have the same number with your diamond with your diamonds um, I'll tell you in a second which I have said before but I will say in case you guys didn't see my first video these I know have the numbers these are round diamonds, and the number to this
believe the numbers are for this color it's 928 for this color right here and it will tell you and if it says 0356 which says on here that 0356 goes with my canvas I can think of the name now and the other numbers starts from 150 all the way to 5200 those are the colors of your rhinestones that you can store them together but I store my crystals with my crystals my squares with my squares and my round with my round and my sparklers with my sparklers so yeah that's a lot of a lot of storage that I have to have in order to do so so I'm going to place you down and I put them in my little shrimp bowl so I know this is number one until I get to it this is pretty full it's my number two I might just dump them now But I leave it in there until I get to it, until I put them in my storages. So I leave it in there so I know that's number one, that's number two. Next following, which I believe that I had talked about in my first video of how to keep your numbers together. Um, if not, I will be making another one to explain how you can keep your diamonds with each other. So like I said, I would just have a little slit and I don't pour them into bowls when I when I didn't have any containers. I would just leave them in here and I would take a little at a time and put it in here. And then when I was finished, either I would put them back in here, if I still had some left in my tray, or I would just make sure I knew what number this was in my tray when I was to start again. But I use these little handy dandy funnels. And yes, I used to I put a little funnel in there to pull them back in that way also. I'd be careful to get myself confused on what number's what. So for those of you that don't have a bunch of storage, you can store them in your little packages because they do have, they, they do have kits that you, um, that are blank and you can make your own diamond painting. Or you can do other things with these things. Nail kits. That's one of the things. I'm going to dump these in my bowls. I also have a YouTube, or YouTube, oh, did that again. I also have a Facebook group called Kulu Shop, the cheapest diamond paintings, which they are. 
because I researched. And since I researched, you'll find other people selling these for three times the amount that Kulu does. Why? Because they are the middleman. And they get all the diamond paintings all from the same place, which is from China, and they charge more. Where China can charge a smaller price because they don't have no middleman. They are the factory. They are the ones that own the diamond paintings. That's why they can be much cheaper than the others. So... Just pay attention to people's prices because when you can get something for $4 and they're charging you $25 for the same thing, I just watch it. No, their canvases and their beads are not any better because it all comes from China, all from the same place. So that just irks me when people try to do that, which is called a lie. So, <clears throat> now I got what I'm going to use in here. I'm going to use my little Some of the diamonds aren't all going to fit in here. Speaking of, maybe I should write first. Which I got me 20,000 stickers. Got them for off eBay for under like $47. So this will last me forever and I'm able to give some stickers out in a way which I give do giveaways on my Facebook group I don't know how many I've given away so far so if you would like to join us on the Facebook group um, I don't have any special times here's the one I already have It really irks me that I don't have the numbers for the colors on it. So I mark one, two, three, four. Which, like I said, my beads are not going to stay on here. Or, stay on here. They're not going to all... I'm not going to have enough room for some of them. They're going to have more beads than my container. Why did I just do that? So I thought I would show you how I put mine. I start my how I start my beatings out. How I how I get mine situated before I start diamond painting. Some ideas in case some of you guys some of you guys say oh yeah that'll work for me I never thought of that like I said I, I said this medicine bottles good can put them to good use for them those have an amazing amount of room 
so you can use medicine bottles to keep yours in without having to pay a bunch of money because not everybody has it you know so I try to have ideas for people that <clears throat> don't have the money, and I try to, two, three, four, five, six, get it out of my way, now I can cut another piece off, yes, I do, I do giveaways, Kulu Shop, Cheapest Diamond Paintings Group, and I give, Diamond paintings away. I might have given probably 10 to 20 away. Uh, I'm trying to find ideas on challenges for people to win some, but I haven't gotten that far yet, and I don't have anybody. I had somebody say trivia, and I suck at trivia, so... This one has 20 colors. So yeah, sometimes they don't have the color, the color that goes with the, the diamonds. So that really sucks when they do that. Because I had to start from scratch. I did watch a little bit of YouTube when I started, but not very much. I was figuring it out on my own. Which I had found, uh, it's called, uh, did I bring it in with me? I should have. Oh, I brought that in. A son of a gun. It's called a quick stick. The reason why it's called a quick stick is because it already has your wax inside of it. So then all you got to do is turn the bottom of it just very slightly because if you turn it too far, you're going to have a bunch of it coming, coming out. If you can think of whipped cream and you go to push it down as far as it goes, there's shh everywhere. Yeah. have a lady that if you kind of hear her out there she's in her group and she does beads and I do diamond painting which I kind of went crazy and bought a bunch of stuff for this thing, I got a bunch of storages, a bunch of beads, a bunch of kits.
You don't have to put them in there. I just did it. Then I'm going to do number one. Which they do get staticky and like to stick. fit in here. I'll figure out something. So yes, Kulu Shop and Diamond Painting Factory are all the same factory, just two different locations in China. And they start out at $1.99. And then it goes up $2.99, $3.99, $4.99. Five ninety nine, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, maybe. They they'll have a little tab that'll tell you different different prices. I think it goes up to six ninety nine, and then it goes to big big diamond paintings. And it gets a little bit more expensive when you want a big diamond painting, of course. But if you get it from a different place, it's going to cost you three or four times more than what Diamond Painting Factory and what Kulu Shop bills you. And don't forget, you get an extra 20% off on top of their cheap price. Is that not nifty or what? I probably won't make you guys go through all of this, but get a few of them going. Right now I'm working with the crystal rhinestones. And the crystal rhinestones, I don't know, they've not really explained. I think they're plastic. Oh great, domino effect. Um, the AB drills, they call them, diamonds are acrylic um, then you have round diamonds square diamonds then you have sparklers which are glass so any questions or join my group I've got quite a bit of everything on there from storages to tools 
to diamond paintings. I'm hoping I started it. Excuse me. These you can get anywhere. You can get them off of Cooley Shop. You can get them on Amazon, eBay pink thing I have. Um, you can get them on Diamond Painting Factory. You can get them on anything that has associated, has associated diamond paintings too. start my diamond painting which I will say right now I start my diamond painting you can start your diamond painting from the top or the bottom and if I do the top and I start at the top I turn it around so it's upside down why do I do that so I'm not sticking to the canvas because the canvas is made like flypaper so 13 Um, because I don't want to ruin my, my sticky on my canvas that's sticky. So I start, usually I start at the bottom. What the heck am I doing? I'm trying to find this thing. So usually I start at the bottom unless I feel like, I feel like starting the top first. And some people start from the top. But I totally don't agree with that because then you're constantly sticking to your canvas. And when they start at the top, they mean they start at the top. And their arm is going over their canvas, which you don't take the whole thing off. I don't take my whole liner that's lined it over to protect your diamond painting. I don't take that whole thing off. I leave it on, which I will show you. diamonds everywhere so I have which you don't have to use one of these um, you can get this on it's a lead light and It's a tool that was probably made for drawing. But that diamond, oh, excuse me, the diamond painting was invented. 
so they said, oh, let's start using this. So it's a lead light. This is an A4. A4. Um, A5 is about this big. It's not very big. Um, this cost me, for A4, it cost me like $17. I, I think I got it off eBay. I can't remember. I shop eBay, or I shop Kulu, or I shop Diamond Painting Factory. And I've started, I started um, buying from Amazon, because they have a few different things out there, too. Oh, excuse me. Hey. Um... Look these back up. And here, painting, and I'm gonna have to move some painting. My jars, which these are for. Oh, excuse me, these are for shrimp. And the lady that I help care for gave them to me. So that's what I thought I would use. So anyway, here is my canvas. And usually when I start with my canvas, I only pull up as much as the little section that I want to start with. So... I usually pull mine up. Oh, excuse me. I usually pull mine up. Let me see. I should have it off for now. Not about that much that I work on. And I put a little dent in it. If not, you take a piece of tape and tape it to hold it. But usually just me by putting my nail across it, it usually stays for me. So, right here, let me see. <laughs> Dang, how rude. This is number 14. I'm going to do number 14, and it's going to be backwards. Number 14, and it has the two little dots. Which the two little dots there. It's just like painting by numbers, so it's pretty simple. So, number 14. I didn't even get number 14 done yet. So, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to go get my stupid pen. Because I didn't, my drill, drill pen, I didn't bring in here with me. Which I guess I'll show you the old pen. I don't know why I poured all that in there. Because it's not going to all fit. Boy, pretty close. I'm showing you how you can get them all over the place. Now, please excuse me for just a moment.
forgive me. Sorry they stopped me. The people that I'm trying to help care for. I'm being a living right now. Anyway. So, this is a quick stick. You can get this on Amazon. I got this on eBay. I believe I got it for under $10. I think it was $9 and something. And this right here has your stuff in it, your wax, and you need to be careful because if you go too far, it's going to squirt out quite a bit. So you just barely, when you hear it, go stop, look. But usually I give it maybe that little click twice and that should give me what I want. But I do need to show you the old fashioned way for the beginners that haven't started. Which, you know, you get this. And your green handy dandy thing, which I'm not going to use. And so I have this. Oh, that's what I needed. I need my wax. And so you know that this has film on both sides of it to protect it. So I usually only take off the one side. And then I have my plastic still protecting my other side. I had my cousin and she had them both on there. But you can put it back on there. And she was saying, my thing isn't having any wax. You goop all, you gotta take off the first film. And voila. And then you just do that to fill it. If you don't think it's full enough, you can still do another hole. Let me see. I think I should have enough. So, oops. I think I need more. Maybe not. Oh, great. I'm already sticking to it. Isn't this just lovely? I usually stick mine to it like that. It's usually not that strong. And then I start wherever. I start in the little bo bottom. Looks like I got enough. Because you're going to have some excess come off. Usually I wipe it back onto my thing. Sheila, I'll take this. If I have excess that's pushing out from the diamond, I usually wipe the excess off. Or you can just wipe the excess off and throw it away if that's how you are. I just tried to be efficient. These are my number 14s. And that's how you do it. It's just a paint by number and it sticks. Your wax is in there to stick your diamond. Your, your diamond is to stick to your canvas. Oh my God. And my cousin does it back and forth rows. She goes back and forth, back, like a typewriter. Me, I don't. I do one color. And then you also can do a checkerboard. If you get bored. Which I'm doing right now. And it's a good, I guess, to do it with the squares. Because when you do the 
the checkerboard. You do the, like this. Okay, I have to lift it up so you can see. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad fly paper. Now my thing just went. Anyway, just like this, and then you go back through and fill it in. It's good for the squares because then if your squares are a little crooked, it will put your squares back in place when you go back over it the second time, if you're understanding what I'm talking about. Because right now I'm using round diamonds. And that's about it. I think that's all I can. But just so you know, when you do get your first kit, everything comes with it. This and the green thing that I showed you and your diamond painting. And your beads. They all come with your kits. So, um, I guess that's it. And um, if you want to join my group, um, Kulu Shop Cheapest Diamond Paintings. Um, my name is Chrissy Heather Rose Deline, if you can't find my group. And I do giveaways. Um, I've sent to my people, my regulars, I gave them stickers. Um, I've given them, um, like I said, paintings. Um, oh, and the number chart which I will say in another video, another number chart, that it, it tells you each and every bead of what color goes with what. Like one, 310 is always number black, So, but it starts at 150. So I will have that on another video. I'm sorry if I bored you, but if you have made it to the end, I so appreciate you um, coming with this journey that I'm on and I'm bragging to everybody of what a cheap hobby this is. I don't think you'll find a, a, any cheaper hobby than this. Um, unless you want to get technical and I got a bunch of crap for it that you don't need. So, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to, um, Hope to see you in my next video. Any questions, don't hesitate to message me. And I will see you later. Peace.